My name is Faber. Welcome to my channel. It's Our Fenwick Life. If you're new, welcome. I hope you'll subscribe. Um, here we do all sorts of things. We travel quite a bit. Soon I'll be posting Chicago and Wisconsin and Packer game vlogs. Um, and we're going to be going on a cruise here pretty soon and I'll be posting vlogs from that. Um, I have past travel vlogs from going on a, a cruise to going to Cancun. Um, and uh, we also do unboxings and hauls and uh, food subscription box reviews. We just do a, a selection of things here. So um, I hope you'll stick around and I hope you'll subscribe. But today we have one of my favorites. This makes me so happy. I love it when this box comes. Um, this came a little sooner than I was expecting. Okay, so you're gonna hear snoring. My girl is sleeping right here. She's a lab um, a golden mix. <laughs> and she snores loudly and a lot. And we also have two other big, very big, large dogs and cats. So you're going to hear clinkling from the neck, necks, their collars. You're going to hear the clickety clack from big paws. Uh, you may even hear some scratching from the cats in their box. So <laughs> that's just life around here. So uh, lots of antics going on with our pets. Anyway, so today I have Stitch Fix. I'm very excited. I can't tell what's in here. It came yesterday. I really wanted to open it, but I had to wait till today so I could film. Anyway, so let's see what's in here. Um, I do believe I told, I messaged, and I'm not sure if I have the same uh, person I had last time. I had Megan last time. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same. I don't know. Um, I did tell her I had originally, when I did my first Stitch Fix box, uh, this is number three. I had asked for no jeans um, and to, you know, prepare for fall. I'm in Texas. It's very hot here um, in through the fall. Um, we'll start cooling off here mid-October. Okay, so here we go. Uh, got some jewelry. I need to put in there no jewelry. Um, I'm pretty particular about my jewelry and um, I typically pick it up from Charming Charlie and you know places like that where it's very inexpensive. Um, so unless I like am totally in love with this, like I really won't, you know. We'll see, I don't know, it could be fantastic. Oh, this is big. Oh, almost dropped it. Oh, in my kind of colors, gray, burgundy, black, mm-hmm. There's that side and that side, oh. I'm excited. Uh oh. I may already have something. Okay, see, I've attracted a pup. He he had to come say hello. He heard me heard me get excited, and they want to come and see. All right. So where's my note? Hey, where's my note? Here's my uh, return envelope, and ah, it fell out. <laughs> and the note. So let me open that real quick and we will say, see what, um, I don't want to see any of the things. So let me turn it here and I need to put on some vision. All right. My price sheet and everything I will put back. Madison. Okay. Welcome back for your third fix, Favor. I am so happy to see that a few pieces worked out for you last time around. Thank you so much for your feedback to help me better understand your preferences. The Tulip Sleeve Blouse does come in other colors, so I will keep my eyes peeled for it in a future fix. While I did not have anything similar to the gray sweater you pinned, I opted to include a gray cardigan for a layer of warmth for cooler evenings in Katie. The Andrew Mark Velour Knit Tee is right on trend this season. I love the wine hue too. Pair the tee with the KFTK straight leg jeans in a black wash that will stay true. Add the cardigan with cuff sleeves for a casual ensemble ready for dinner with friends. Can't wait to hear what you think. Happy styling, Madison. Maybe Madison, but not Megan. Madison was last month. I, I'll need to go back and look. Whatever, whoever she was, she was fantastic. Okay, but I want to make sure I have her name right because I want her to know how much I appreciate um, what she sent. Okay, so this is, I'm not sure, I'm going to have to put the name below, but, oh wow, this is, this is a, 
beautiful cardigan. Okay, now let me tell you the first thing I love about this cardigan. One, it's gray. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing I love about this cardigan is it's not sweater material, like sweater. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, please be in my price range as this is right up my little style alley. Oh yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. let's, let's hang it like this. Let's see if this is better. Yeah, I love this gray, I love the stripes, and I love that it's not sweater material. I know cardigans are in style. I know sweater material. You, you know what I mean by sweater material. I don't know what it is, but I don't care for sweater material in cardigans. I like it to be a different material, just a cotton, or I don't know, just not sweater material, because I always feel like that's kind of frumpy on me. I don't know. I've been a mom for a very long time. Okay, these are a whole. Oh, I'm very excited. Okay, uh, I just went to Cincinnati and my husband was on a business trip in Cincinnati and I really didn't have a whole lot to do, so I went to the mall and I went to Nordstrom and I picked up a pair of black cut from the cloth Diana cut Diana jeans. These are cut from the cloth straight leg jeans. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And of course, I just bought some black ones. I've already worn them, so I can't exchange them, but that's what I smell in this box. They have a, they have a very distinct smell. It must be from the dye. Um, anyway, so there they are. These are in a size eight petite. So we'll see, the ones I picked up this weekend, this past week were sixes, so I'm not sure what these are. Oh my goodness, this shirt is full soft. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of velour. I know it may be on trend, but we'll, this will be maybe too far out of my comfort zone. We'll have to see. But boy, is it soft. <laughs> um, I would have to definitely take the lint roller with me as my cats would make sure I left the house with a little bit of their fur attached. All right. Oh, this is something else. What is this? This is a, it zips in the back. Oh, how cute. A little cropped three quarters inch sleeve with buttons. Oh, the sleeves button off. That's interesting. If you can see this, there's buttons here. I'm not sure if they button off or what. Okay, so this one is called the Q&A Donata Button Detail Blouse in Navy. That's interesting. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see. <laughs> and the burgundy one is Andrew Mark Performance Berlin Velour Knit Tee. We'll see, and this one is in a size large. The navy one is in a size large petite. And the cardigan is Evolution, whoops, where's the Stitch Fix tag? Uh, it's Stitch Fix exclusive, and it's called an Evolution Light Heather Gray Charcoal and Large. Um, so we're gonna have to try everything on. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go try everything on and then I will be right back to show you. So uh, I'm filming in a different room today. I'm actually filming in my uh, front room, which is going to become my filming area. Um, and uh, I normally I'm in my bedroom where I have a big full length mirror. Um, so I'm going to go put everything on and I will be right back. Okay, so I've adjusted the angle of my camera. Here's my dog, Millie. Meet my dog, Millie. <laughs> um, and uh, the, you can see these pants were too short. I'm five foot three. Maybe they're supposed to be this length, but in a straight leg jean, I don't like, I don't like them at ankle length. If they had been a skinny jean, it would have been fine. Um, but being a straight leg, uh, I'm not crazy about the length. And um, the eights, these are eight petites, and they do fit, they fit well. Um, I don't know why. The ones I picked up this weekend were sixes. I don't know, um, this past week. So, you know, I think these fit well. You know, again, I am in between sizes, but I do know that cut from the cloth runs large, so I'm not, I'm not real sure what's going on with my sizing. Um, I'm still figuring it out with Stitch Fix. So, um, anyway, but these are the jeans. I am going to put on the ones I picked up this past week um, because I won't be keeping these because I don't like the ankle. 
So I'll be back in just a second. Um, I've turned the camera sideways, which I think is going to give us some black lines on the side. But uh, this allows you to actually see my whole outfit without me having to be like 200 feet away in the camera. So um, yeah, so I'll be right back. <laughs> My dog's just going to stay here and take a nap. Okay, so um, these are my Cut From The Club Diana jeans. Um, this is the Donata Button Detail Blouse. Uh, you know what? I really didn't think that I would like this, but I actually do. It's it's comfortable. It's boxy. It's roomy. Um, you know, nothing feels tight. Um, I'm, I don't know what to think about this. It's a cute little shirt. Um, you know, I'm not used to wearing short shirts this length. Um, I actually would wear shirts, you know, a little bit longer. Um, so it's really cute, though. I'm not, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Um, again, I'm in my dark bedroom looking at it. it. It could be, you know, look terrible. I can't see the viewfinder. I can't see that far away. So anyway, um, and the sleeves button off. Let's see. The sleeves unbutton and, and come off. I guess that makes them an open shoulder to become an open shoulder or a peep shoulder, whatever that's called. That's not for me. Um, I don't care to wear shirts like that, um, if that's the case. Actually, I'm, I, you know, I'm not even 100% sure how to wear these. Um, how to wear a cold shoulder, that's the word. Um, so it says to pair it with a burgundy skirt and pumps and a, a, a navy uh, purse or blue jeans, some booties, and uh, you know, a, looks to be a um, denim shirt. So here we go, like that. Um, you know, I'm just not sure how I feel about it. And being unsure, I probably wouldn't wear it. So uh, you know, it'd be one of those things you're looking in your closet and you can always find something you really prefer that you're very comfortable in. So yes, so I will be back. I'm going to go try on uh, the others. This is JoJo. Okay, so this is the Evolution by Cyrus. Sassy color block open cardigan. Yep, love it, knew it would, too big. Um, I'm going to have to size down, I mean the, <laughs> I know they're supposed to be a little loose, but this will drive me crazy. Um, they're like, it's just incredibly large. Um, I Like I said, I'm still learning the sizing with Stitch Fix, and, and some things, I'm really not sure how to, how to uh, set the sizing and I'm losing weight. So that kind of makes it a little tricky, especially for the stylist. She doesn't know where I am or he, they don't know where you are right at that moment. You know, you could, you could have gained weight or lost weight. They don't know. So, um, but this, this cardigan, um, I love, 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 love. It's, I love it. This shirt underneath is the Andrew Mark Performance Berlin Velour Knit Tee. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not sure it's something I would, I don't want this to drip on the floor because I have to exchange it for a smaller one. Um, and I'm not even sure how much smaller. I'm not sure if medium is going to be small enough because it's an oversized sweater. Uh, um, cardigan. Anyway, um, it's cute. You know, it, it really is. It's cute. But I'm going to tell you right now, I would never wear it. I would constantly be covered in cat hair and um oh my god it's so soft though <laughs> i mean if i could like snuggle with a blanket made out of this i would <laughs> anyway but it's just um while it is out of my comfort zone and i that is something i do appreciate about stitch stitch fix sort of sending me things out of my comfort zone um it's it, i i'm gonna tell you right now i would never wear so, like i said not crazy about this one this is kind of a miss um, and, uh, it's very boxy, which, you know, that's fine. That doesn't bother me. Um, but I'm not sure that it's, it's for me. So let's go ahead and open up the, let me stand right here, the jewelry, which I know I had forgotten to do. So. Oh yeah, that's very cute. It's lovely. I, I mean, I, it's lovely. It's silver, which I love silver. Let me put it on and... You know, it's very cute. I can probably squeeze it closed to get it to fit me a little bit better. Um, yeah, that's, that's lovely. 
but you know, I'm really not sure that I would ever wear it. So, you know, we'll see. So let me readjust the camera. I'll have a seat and we can discuss prices and all of those things. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this off. It's very lightweight. It's not, in the, you know, it doesn't, it's not heavy like a lot of the ones that I've seen. Um, so let's see here. Um, here's my note. Yeah, this sip of coffee leaning out so I don't spill it. <laughs> Mm. All righty. Okay, well. Hmm. All right, so the hammered infinity cuff, the bracelet is $28. I think that's kind of a standard price for, our, for Stitch Fix. Jewelry, I've kind of seen that price pretty frequently. Uh, cut from the cloth, marble, Maribel straight leg jean. Excuse me, this my hair. I just, there we go. Uh, yes, Maribel straight leg jean in an eight petite in black is our $88. Pretty typical for cut from the cloth brand. Andrew Mark Performance Berlin Velour, Velour Knit Tee is $46. Q&A Donata Button Detail Blouse, the blue navy three quarter inch sleeve uh, blouse is $58 and the Evolution by Sirius Stassi Color Black Open Cardigan is $68. My total is $288 by 5, 25% discount is $72, a styling fee, credit $20, my total is $196. Um, you know, and honestly, for five pieces of nice clothing, especially with one of those pieces being the jeans, that is 196 divided by five. That's $39.20 per piece. So while yes, more than I would spend at say, I don't know, some of the discount chains, uh, you, you know, where you can buy name brand clothing for, what is the word, TJ Maxx and um, Burlington Coat Factory, those kind of places. Yes, you can find them there cheaper. My problem is I won't spend the time to look. <laughs> um, you know, the only reason why I went to Nordstrom this past week is I had eight hours to kill with nothing to do but sit in a hotel room. If I were at home, mm -mm, I wouldn't have been shopping at Nordstrom. The only reason I will go shopping for clothing is if I'm looking for something specific or if there is a major, major, major sale. Um, so that's why I really enjoy Stitch Fix. I like that they send me stuff every month and I'm, you know, if I like it, great. If I don't, I don't have to buy it. Um, so, you know, that's why I've been thinking about that trunk club and, um, Wantable. I'm thinking about those two. What do you guys think of that? What, what, you know, I don't know. The problem with the trunk club is that's expensive. Ooh, very, very expensive. And I'm just not sure that I'm wouldn't irritate them <laughs> and say, wait a minute, you know, um, <laughs> wait, that's a little out of my budget. <laughs> you know, when I go to Nordstrom, I shop in the clearance section. And actually this past week was the first time I'd actually shopped in Nordstrom. You know, anytime I've ever picked up anything from Nordstrom, it's been specifically because I've seen somebody else haul it and I've been in love with it, or they, you know, it was the anniversary sale and it was a significant discount. Yeah, anyway, so <laughs> off in another planet. So this um, sweater is $68. So it's $48 um, with, uh, for me to keep it. I did just pick up a Bobo black sweater cardigan, not sweater material, um, from Nordstrom, and I have been looking for a gray one. Um, and this one I really like. Um, I like that it's not, as I've said 97 times, sweater material. Um, and I, it's very soft. It looks like it's easy to wash and wear. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to keep this. You know, my total this month will be 
uh, $48. I think there's tax. I'm not sure. Um, and um, yeah, I can't wait for the next one. So uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I'm having so much fun with this. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's so exciting when it comes in. Okay, so I just ran to my computer. I'm inserting this in here in the middle of things. I know it's not going to fit in. It's just kind of going to jump right in here. I just went to my computer to check out my Stitch Fix. One of you wonderful people used my link and I have a credit. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much. I don't know who it was. They don't tell me and I wish that they would. But if it was you, let me know. Comment below and let me know so that I can thank you personally because that is amazing. Just how neat. Thank you. That's really cool. So that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with Stitch Fix and um, I can't wait for my next box. Uh, I'm going to have to adjust my timing for my next one because we're going to be going out of town and I don't want it to come in when we're gone and then, you know, be an issue. So uh, I'm going to adjust the time, but I should get another one in a couple of weeks in October. Um, actually, it'll be three weeks. So, um, so yeah, and hopefully this will come in before we go out of town again because I, I love this. <laughs> so we're going to be going on a cruise. So those vlogs will be coming up soon on the Carnival Breeze. And um, it tends to get chilly on the, in, in, the, uh, in the ship in the dining rooms and stuff. This will be a great sweater to bring with me. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. So thank you so much for watching. And again, if you're new, welcome. And I hope you'll subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate your coming back and I really appreciate your watching. Um, I, am, I am at 230 subscribers and that is amazing to me. Just amazing, come on, how fantastic is that? 230 people click subscribe and want to come back and visit with us. That to me is so special. How, it just really is, so thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, and yes, I am working on a giveaway. Um, I'm trying to think of a good number of subscribers to come up to, to, to have a giveaway. I'm thinking maybe 500 might be a good number. Um, but, uh, you know, I really want people to subscribe because they want to spend time with me, not because they want to enter a giveaway. So I may wait until I get to 500 and then announce a giveaway. Um, so you've heard it in this video and now you know, but I probably won't mention that again. So we'll see. So thank you so much for watching and, uh, I am having a blast. So we'll see you next time. Bye.